FMTG here, and we've got our Hour of Devastation bundle here. We're gonna open it up and see what awesome sweetness we get. Um, as usual, you get your nice little deck box thing. You get the posters that look great on your wall. If you put some plywood underneath them, paint that black. They look super... Ooh, it's going this way this time. Oh, that means it throws it off and it's different from the Almond Cat one. Dang it. I was going to put these two next to each other on my wall and now it won't work. Anyway, you get your cute little book that has all the cards in it that you keep because you're a nerd like that. But you know, that's okay. I'm, I'm good with this. I don't mind being a nerd because that is what I like doing. And that is what I do. Okay. The important part, though, is in here you get... Oh, it's red! Yes! Ah, get your awesome red one to match your red mage nice. All that good stuff. I'm just going to use these nice to open everything today because that's not... That's safe. That's just safe. Get a whole bunch of double-sided tokens in all of the... What does it have? It's got a horsey! Anyway, double-sided tokens. Those are super cool. What's on the other side? Oh, warrior tokens. So that's pretty cool. All of those on both sides. You can never have enough tokens. I've got a box of just tokens because I have them. So they're in a box. And when we need them, we pull them out. And then we still don't have enough. Especially if we're talking about squirrels don't have enough squirrel tokens because the husband likes this squirrel deck he's built and it needs a lot of squirrel tokens all right we got all of our lands oh no they mix the full arts oh i'm going to go through and pull out all the full art lands but you know what i don't want to do that on camera but it looks like it's happening so anyway the important part is we'll go do this later and go get all the full art lands because those are what's important out of that pile What's important out of this pile are these 10 packs of Hour of Devastation. We're just going to have a pack opening fest. And hopefully this time I will remember to count well. And then we won't miss any of the any of the things. Alright, we only have like 17 minutes and we don't want to take that long. But I really hope I don't accidentally cut things doing this method of opening stuff but you know if i do that's fine act of heroism kind of scraper spell weaver eternal harrier naga lurching rot beast frilled sand walla unsummon desert of the mindful oh manolith thorned moloch fervent paincaster scun skirt scun scun sun Sun Scourge Champion, Riddle Form, and our rare is Hour of Glory. No! Bonus. Four mana, three of any color, and a black for an instant. Exile target creature. If that creature was a god, its controller reveals his or her hand and exiles all cards from it with the same name as that creature. Basically, goodbye to your god. It reminds me of Deicide. Ooh, only one token. I think that one, was it D-Side that did that? And it was just like out of the game for the whole rest of the time? I don't remember that at all. Theros was my favorite block and I don't remember specific that specific cards. Ha. Huh. I'll figure it out. Act of Heroism. Punctuating Bull. Spellweaver. Eternal Grizzly Survivor. And... I believe in me. Ambuscade. Sure, we'll go with that. Moaning Wall. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. Desert of the Glorified. Scrounger of Souls. He's hungry. Defiant Kenna. Appeal and Authority. Appeal to Authority. Devotee of Strength. Ran Up Ruins. And the rare is... Mirage. Is that the rare? Yes. Mirage. Mirror. Three mana. Two mana, you can become a copy of target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. Full art islands, and a zombie token. So we will keep those two cool things there. Throw this with the rest of the piles, and on to pack number three. 
This is getting so much easier to open, except for I'll probably end up cutting myself. But the important part is those are going super fast. Blur of Blades, Aerial Guide, Dutiful Servants, Grizzly Survivor, Rampaging Hippo, I never want to meet one of those, Moaning Maw, Manolith, Thorn Moloch, Without Weakness, Cunning Survivor, and Pooh, Ipnu, Rivlet, Doomfall, Burning Fished Minotaur, and the rare is Dream Stealer. Three mana, two of any color, and a black for a human wizard. That is a one two has minutes, and when it deals combat damage to a player, that player has to discard that many cards. Stay. Pile of cards, stay. It also has Eternalize because it received its trial of glory, whatever. It met the trials. I need to catch up on my story, too. I am just. So far behind on everything magic. The good news is I am still making videos and I am still taking care of baby Chandra because she's great. And she cuts into my lot of time, but she's baby Chandra, so she's cute. Proven Combat and Dauntless Haven, Blur of Blades, Amscade, Grizzly Survivor, Bitter Blow, Sharpshooters, Bitter Bow, Bitter Blow, same thing, Manolith, Desert of the Mindful, Oketra's Avenger, Crash Through, I do that sometimes, Angel of the God of Pharaoh, Supreme Will, and Claim, it, claim to Fame, and a rare is Eminent Doom! Three mana, two of any color, and a red for an enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, it gets a doom counter. And then whenever you cast a spell with a CMC, Kamaka, equal to the number of doom counters on it, you get to deal that much damage to target creature or player. And then you get to put a doom counter on Eminent Doom. Ugh. Oh, that's... Yes, that's a lot of text for that swamp. And no doom counters on there. So there's that. That seems like a bit of a mistake. That goes there. All right. We've opened, what, four, I think it is? Like ten? We gotta go fast. I don't want to take too long on this. I want to see what I'm getting. Sandblast, Kindled Fury, Aerial Gun, Marauding Bone Slasher, Bitter Bow, Sharpshooters, Wretched Camel, God Pharaoh's Faithful, Striped River Winder, Gilded Ceridon, is that like a rhino kind of sort of thing? Sure. Desert of the Im Indomitable, Query Beetle, Dagger of the Worthy, Torment of Scarabs, and, oh sweet, Diggery with Eyes Open, 5 mana, 3 of any color, and 2 white for a legendary human warrior. 4-3 Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, you can search your library for a Planeswalker. Oh, this fits with the story a little bit. For a Planeswalker card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. If a source would deal damage to a Planeswalker you control, prevent one of that damage. Him and Gideon will be best friends. Because if you're playing white, you have to be playing Gideon. I don't even know if you play this. It's five mana. Doesn't isn't there a Gideon that costs? Oh wait, I'm putting these in the wrong pile. Full art lands. These are all the rares and the full art lands. They go up there. Everything else goes over there. Isn't there a Gideon that is five mana? I'm a trial of Gideons. As long as you have a Gideon, I'm still I'm still gotta build that Gideon tribal deck. Sand blast. Kendall Fury, Avon Reed Stalker, Frilled Sandwalla, Lethal Steam, Beneath the Sands, Graylin Abomination, Strike River Winder, Rune Rat, Death Touch, Steadfast Sentinel, Fervent Paincaster, Saving Grace, Ominous Sphinx, and the rare is Wildfire Eternal. Oh, I love the art on this, which is not surprising because it is my, um, Favorite artist. She did the Chandra. I absolutely love and adore. A planes and a warrior token. But four mana, three of any color, and a red for a one four. A flipped four. Whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses four life. Whenever Wildfire attacks and isn't blocked, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your hand without paying its mana's cost. That seems like super fun to build around. To be fair, it is only a one four, but still. That's got some potentially fun stuff to build around with it. I mean, just load your hand up on all those swords, make it unblockable, throw a key to the city or two in there. We can make it work. 
punctuating blow, proven combatant, haven of enduring hope beneath the sands, a lurching rod beast, Rohana's stalwart, life goes on. Except for here, it doesn't. Basically, it feels like Nicol Bolas is going to carry, kill everything. Granite Titan, Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Supreme Will, Farm to Market, Doom Diviner, and the rare is... Nope. Yeah, that's the rare. Nimble Obstructionist. Three mana, two of any color, and a blue for a flashy, flying, cycling bird wizard. That's a 3-1. And whenever you cycle it, um, counter target activated or trigger ability you don't control. That's pretty cool. Oh, and we've got a solidarity, solitary camel that is in foil. Throw that in file even though it should stand alone by itself. Over here. Okay. All right, three more, I'm pretty sure. I like opening these with my knife. It works out really well. All right, Spellweaver, Eternal, Dutiful Servants, Punctuating Blow, Sidewinder Naga, Lethal Sting, Ruin Rat, Desert of the True, Drive to Wyver Winder, Grave and Abomination, Crook of Condemnation, Merciless, Merciless Eternal, A Braid, and the rare is Rohanus's Last Stand. Two mana, both green, Sorcery, get a 5-4 Snake. For two mana, and lands you control, don't untap until your next turn. But seriously, two mana for a 5-4, as long as that's not going away, you're doing pretty good. Ooh, River Hopi! It's a blue and a green, and it's a cute little shiny bird. And a full art forest. This, this pack was just packed with all sorts of good green things. You'd be like, yes, and sealed. You'd be like, no! I don't want to pass my full art forest over. All right. There we go. Okay. Disposal mummy, open fire, countervailing winds, carry on screecher, oasis ritualist, wall of the forgotten fair, desert of the glorified, scrounger of souls, defiant camera, doju, doju, Dujura's Renunciation, Unconventional Tactics, Ominous Sphinx, Claim to Fame, <laughs> and Crested Sunmare is our rare, the horse and his party. Three mana of any color and two white. Let's throw this in with our mono white Gideon deck because we can. Uh, horses you control have indestructible and at the beginning of each end step, if you gain life this turn, create a 5-5 white horse creature token. It is evident that some pure corner of the world must still exist. Forest and a zombie token. Okay, last pack. That's sad. I don't like opening these so fast, but I like opening them really fast. Solidary Camel goes with the other Solidary Camel, but... Not actually. Open fire, tragic lesson, Rohana stalwart, lurching rot beast, desert of the mindful, Oketra's avenger, gift of strength, crash through, strategic planning, not something I usually do, query beetle, why do they give me hard words, if near in deadlands, close enough, Liliana's defeat, and Kefnet's last word. Four mana, two of any color, and two blue for a sorcery. Gain control a target artifact creature or enchantment lands you control. Don't untap during your next untap step. Poor guy, he dies. Spoilers. And steadfast sentinel vigilance. All right, so we got some sweet stuff. Our solitary camera has to go up there. Looks like we're going mono white. Oh. This is going to be sweet. I don't know what I'm going to build with all these, but maybe I'll do some giveaways for foil solidary camels because they stand alone. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what your favorite card was. Um, what card are you most excited to play with in Hour of Devastation? Like this video and subscribe for more.